Hello, welcome everybody to Nickel City X Wing. I am Greg, and this is Star Wars Trivia. It's the sequels, and it's of course hard mode because you guys keep voting for it. For some reason, you like doing this to yourself. It's not my fault. We have two competitors joining us today in the red box corner thing. I'm on his TV right now, which is very weird. <laughs> I just noticed that. <laughs> it is Thanks Lou the, the Lunatic. What's up, man? It's going good. I'm excited. I've been studying hard, and I'm ready to embarrass myself. Yeah, well, that's fine. Uh, Lou, what you got going on? We talked beforehand about promoting some stuff, so why don't you... I should promote what you need to promote here. We'll give you another shout at the end, too. All right. Uh, first of all, huge shout out to Catherine for getting top table at Hoth. Our very own Catherine. And uh, I'd also like to uh, shout out um, my podcast, Forest Man Radio. It's on every two weeks. So opposite of this week, it will uh, we'll start up again next week on Monday night, 9 p.m. EST. Uh, so that's been a lot of fun. I do it with my local buddy Dave, and uh, you might know Justice as Atreides. He's on the show as well. So come check that out if you got a chance. Yeah, shout out to local buddy Dave. Also, Lou <laughs> runs a prominent sharpening business. If you have a knife for a lawnmower or some other blade that you need sharpened, get in contact with Lou. What do I put in the customs form for a lawnmower blade? What, what, what do I put in there? <laughs> making this deadlier usps please <laughs> deliver on time would, yeah that would definitely not uh go through on your uh usps over there yeah that's, that's, that's something you just got to send it to me and then i'll drive it across you, the border yeah. and be like all right i'm not bringing anything yeah i'm just you know some tools maybe yeah all <laughs> right and his opponent in the blue box hailing all the way from georgia florida i don't know where he I'm lives now florida. Yeah, he lives in though. Florida, so he denies the vaccine or something. I don't know. Florida sucks. <laughs> the owner, the yeah, owner, <laughs> the owner of exclamation point Pim. It is Andrew, aka Yellow Jacket Pim. What's going hey, on with you, man? You got a. Well. How are you? Hanging on the show. I've got my Atlanta Hawk shirt on for those Georgia peeps. My Hawk shirt. Oh uh, yes, all of our Georgia viewers. You never know. Um, I've got a whole wall of Lego behind me, and guess how many A wings are on that wall? Um, so many A wings, not me. There's a few. So many. There's a few. There's actually one right down there as well, kind of behind the black one T70. I see I at least four. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five. Uh, I think six is the number. Um. Uh, I am part of Team Jawa. We do a bunch of uh, tournaments as well. Um, we actually have one coming up, which has a Lego theme to it. Um, hopefully, you guys can check it out. I think I've put the link. I'll actually put the link in the chat right now if you guys are interested. I just did modified, it, but yeah, you can do it again. And no, you got it. It's a modified uh, version of No Glory where you have to take one limited pilot. Everything else is just generic pilots. It's pretty fun. And like I said, you got a bunch of Lego Star Wars theming. So. But today I'm here to talk about movies, uh, a movie that I've only seen once. So I'm sure to win. Three movies Fine. that you've only seen once. No, no, just one. I've, I've seen the other two multiple times. I, I I still watch The Last Jedi a lot when I'm sick. It's one of those movies where, like, it's the comforting, you know, when you're sick, you want to watch that comfort movie. That's, that's what it's become for me. Oh, that yeah. is not what that does for me, but okay. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> Doesn't Leia Poppins make everybody feel better? A spoonful of force makes the medicine go down. All right, guys, this is sequel trivia hard mode. Just a note, this shit is hard. No one does well on these. That's on purpose. So we're not going to judge. We're not judgy. We're going to encourage. As always, no right answers in chat. Until... <laughs> yeah, right. only, only bad ones. No answers. We've got four categories today. We've got The Force Awakens, The Last Jedi, The Rise of Skywalker, and then a little bit of hodgepodge. We've got 21 questions. There's a bonus question on The Rise of Skywalker. 
They're going to vary by points. 100 points for the first question all the way up. That'll directly correlate to nickels. And, uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's it. You guys want to hop right in with The Force Awakens? Yeah, let's do it. Right! I think that's let's the one where the, the, uh, we awaken the Force. It is the one where we awaken the Force. There's All a right. Simpson short called The Force Awakens from its nap, and I really like that pun. <laughs> Here is question number one for The Force Awakens. Who does Max von Sydow play? In the Force Awakens, I know this one. Character name needed. But what if I Max... can't spell it right? If it's I fine. Spell it right. Okay. As long as I can tell who you're going with. Uh... Kylo Ren tells him he got old. Yeah, and Zimmy keeps like me. <laughs> it was Max. You're right. Uh. My bad. Lou, we're gonna need an answer. Uh, yeah, I have it. Um, play Gurg in its film debut. Uh... Right, question two. True or false, at the time of production, the budget for The Force Awakens was the largest budget ever for a Star Wars movie. True or false, the it budget like for The Force question. Awakens was I feel the like largest... it's a trick question, but... How can it be a trick question if it's true or false? I know, but it's one of those things where you're like... It's 50-50. Oh. There's no tricks there. I think you're just trying to get me to say one. Yeah, I am trying to get you to say one. Pick one. All right. Question. 50, 50 question. chance. Yeah. <laughs> question three. What 1996 novella name? Well, sorry. What 1996 novel name was the working title of The Force Awakens? Uh, so the working yeah, title of The Force Awakens had the same name as a 1996 novel. Let's try that. Um, Fun fact, I was born in 1997. Yeah. I was born in 1990, and I don't think I know this. <laughs> Man, both of you banned. Uh, <laughs> A New um, Hope Second Edition, totally not Star Wars, the novel. <laughs> would love it if they codenamed one of those movies totally not Star Wars. Far, says my mom. All right, question four. What country were the Jakku scenes filmed in? What country were the Jakku scenes filmed in? You good over there, buddy? Uh, My dog is... No, he's fine. My dog is having a fun time with this toy. You know, if you sure. said if you said the Resistance base planet, I actually learned this tri piece of trivia recently, so I, I could have done it. But I have no idea about Jakku, so I'm gonna take a guess. There. Um. Wait. No, I do know this. I'm pretty sure that's correct. So I heard a story you... about this. No, I'm changing my answer. Okay. I remember an anecdote about uh, this filming. Fair enough. All right, so question five nice. for 500 nickels. This is the hardest one of the bunch besides the double question. By the way, at the end of each round, there's a question that you can double the points on. Before J.J. Abrams was given the job, who was the original screenwriter of The Force Awakens? Hmm. Before J.J. Abrams was given the job, who was the original screenwriter of The Force Awakens? Uh... Gerg's mom? How dare you? She's a lovely woman. 
Guardians of the Republic was the name of the screenwriter. That checks out. <laughs> it's a popular name this year. It is, you know. <laughs> okay, we can do right answers now, chat. We're going to go down, see how many you got right before we do the double question, because we won't know how much that's worth until we do it. Well, Lou, how many do you think you got? How, how, at least how at one. I think I got one. <laughs> I know I got one. <laughs> <laughs> All right. For 100 nickels. Who does Max von Sydow play in The Force Awakens? Lou, your answer was? Lor Santeca. Andrew, your answer was? Ditto. That is the correct answer. It is Lor Santeca. Good job. This is the one I knew. <laughs> Let's find out if I knew the rest. No, no, Andrew actually said ditto. He is referring to the Pokemon. That's true. He was playing the Pokemon Ditto. <laughs> okay. No, I, I wrote Lord Santeca. Did right. Let the record go. That's the one I know I got right. I just, I couldn't yeah. remember where I put it on exactly. my notes. Yes, Rocker. <laughs> of the Santecas that we are currently seeing in the High Republic. Oh, really? Indeed. That's kind of cool. I should check those out. I haven't, uh... Yeah, I was researching him a bit. He was actually, uh... He was around during the Republic. So, not so the High Republic, though, because he'd have been not High Republic, <laughs> but like, uh, he's not Yoda. <laughs> he ain't Yoda, like, he ain't no Yoda the, from the prequels. He was he was around at that time, so he's always uh, believed in the force and all that stuff. So, true or false, at the time of production, the budget for The Force Awakens was the largest budget for a Star Wars movie. Andrew, you went with. I went with true, but I think this is a trick question because you're expecting true. Andrew? But I no, not Andrew. Andrew. <laughs> Lou, your answer? I went, with, I went with false. The correct answer is true because of course okay. it was. Wow. Yeah, that's why I was like, is this one of those like questions that's a trick one? Because it's like... Uh, that's trying to get you guys some nickels early before it gets stupid. <laughs> that's fair. <laughs> what 19... <laughs> question three. What 1996 novel name was the working title of The Force Awakens. Lou, you went with? The Next Hope. <laughs> Stab in the Dark, I see. Andrew, you went with? Timothy Zahn's Heir to the Empire? Uh, you are both incorrect, but at least you put a Star Wars book. It is Shadow of the Empire. Ah. Shadow oh of oh. the Empire. I just remember the Heir to the Empire oh. cover oh. art has a really, like, a, a guy who looks like a 70s, like, uh, prog rock wizard and like a robe and crazy hair. Yeah, um... <laughs> just like that's he's right in the center on the cover, just doing like this with like lightning. All right, question four What country were the Jakku scenes filmed in? Andrew, you originally wrote Tunisia, which is Tatooine, and then you changed yeah. it to I changed it to Ethiopia because I remember there's a story about. There's a story I think that, uh, what's his name? Um, Oscar Isaac told about partying with like the royals of like a country when they were filming. And I think oh. it's Ethiopia. That makes a lot, that story makes a lot of sense for the actual correct answer. Lou. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> Lou? I wrote, uh, yeah, I'm yeah. terrible geography, so I wrote Israel. That is not <laughs> it. <laughs> not <laughs> the correct answer. Does anyone in chat know? Scythe guesses Jordan. Jordan. Uh, let me make sure this isn't a question in Return of the Jedi. Or Return of the Jedi. In uh, The Rise of Skywalker. It is, and mm -hmm. Jordan was actually uh, Asana. Hmm. So the correct answer is the United Arab Emirates. Yeah, that checks out. Yeah, it was yeah. between, like, the UAE, and, like, they probably... The UAE probably, like, contributed money to the production for them to film there. Yeah, I mean, um, well, partying with royals sounds like a very yeah. UAE type thing to do. Yeah, there's there's a story about like one night they like had this giant feast and like hung out and went to some really crazy places. Correct. Right, right, right. All right. Question five. Before J.J. Abrams was given the job, who was the original screenwriter 
of the Force Awakens. Uh, Lou, you said. I said Steven Spielberg. And Andrew, you said. I said Lawrence Kasdan. And you know what? Lawrence Kasdan is not the answer I have, but I did Google it because I did like that did kind of spark something. He was yeah. credited as a screenwriter on the movie. I was pretty sure he was, so that's why I was like, I think yeah. it's Lawrence Kasdan. The 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 answer was that the writer they hired was Michael Arndt. Oh shit! But I think I Michael Arndt. I think I should give you partial credit since he was on the on the movie as a, credited I, I as a half. screenwriter. I take half if you're willing to give it. Yeah, I think I think that's fair. We we listen. C's get degrees, man. C's, C's do get degrees. So before <laughs> our double question, Lou, you coming in at a hundred points, and him. You did pretty well that round. Three. That's 550. I'll take it. <laughs> I mean, that's probably one of our better rounds, even though I definitely put these in the wrong places. I'll take it. Listen, I'm full of useless trivia knowledge, so I may be good at this game. We'll find out. Nice. Mm. All right. Here is your doubler question for this round. You get it right. You double your points. You get it wrong. No impact. It's fine. What was the name? of Han Solo's Rathtar hauler ship in The Force Awakens. Oh, God. What was oh. that ship's name? <laughs> oh, man. Uh, it's one of those, uh, did they ever name it? Yeah, Maui says his name was Steve. Name. His name could be Steve. All I know is it's huge. When, like, Not the size comparisons, it's like, Star Steve Destroyer. the Tugboat, not the Millennium Falcon. It's a Star Destroyer piloted by two people. Um, Shippy McShipface. Oh, Bodie McBoatface. Tangible. <laughs> All right. <laughs> What was the name of Han Solo's Rathar hauler ship in The Force Awakens? Lou, you went with? Kanji Club Freighter. <laughs> and Andrew, you went with? Big Bertha. And you're both obviously wrong. <laughs> it is called the Aravana. Oh, yeah, I knew that for sure. The Aravana. It took a step in the dark because I knew when he was on the ship, he was uh, the groovy and death guy. Guavi and uh, death game, uh, Kanji Club. And Kanji Club showed up. Hell, that's oh, the Kanji Club. I figured that Han stole it from someone. <laughs> I just remember the um, uh, Lovecraftian horror that he was transporting. Yes. The Rathars, if you will. Oh, is that what they're called? The Rathars? Yes. Yeah. I thought the Rathar, like, holler was the name of, like, the brand of the ship, like a YT-1300 or something. No. <laughs> there you go. I forgot to get questions from Catherine, so oopsie doodle. She was busy. She was kicking everyone's tail. Yeah. Too much to ask. So we're just going to move on to The Last Jedi. Andrew's comfort movie. Andrew's <laughs> favorite movie ever it's made. Not, it's in my top five, I would say. Okay. Hey, if I end the game with 100 points, will I have beat somebody else that's played this game? <laughs> uh, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> All right, question one for 100 nickels. Which Last Jedi actor played script doctor, which means they she they helped write and punch up the script on The Last Jedi? Which Last Jedi actor played script doctor on The Last Jedi? Um, I feel like you let something slip there when you said she. So I'm gonna go out and guess. Kinda hoping no one would catch that. Because I definitely caught it myself. <laughs> um There's your free hit. It is a female actor on the last Jedi. Oh good, there's only like four of them, right? It's not like a whole bunch. Yeah, it kinda narrows it down Actually, a bit. You know what? I'm gonna change my answer. It's um if I can think of her name. Um, I shoot. Mine, I just, 
I was gonna change that answer, but I can't remember what the actress's name is. I wonder if you'll let me do this. I'm gonna try it. Ah, uh, crap. I know the character name. I, I think I know, uh, I don't know. Um, you can put character name if you don't remember the actor name, it's fine. All right, that's what I'm doing because I, uh, mm, <laughs> I'm out. I'm having a massive brain, uh, brain fart on this one. Are you, you're going for Laura Dart. Thank you. Oh, I gave him my answer, but whatever. <laughs> there, I, I, went, I went with a different one, so I wasn't cheating. You're, I had a different one. Lou, you're cheating. going for Billy Lord. Yeah. I had Billy Lord first, and I changed it. Question two. What is the name of General Organa's Mon Calamari Cruiser? In the last year. I know this one. Uh. <laughs> I don't know the name of these big fat ships. It's um, named after a Mon Calamari. They're thick yeah. with two C ships. Let's not be sizes, Lou. <laughs> Cruise the cruise face. The Palpatine. <laughs> <laughs> what if I mean, it was the was... what if it was the Poppins? So they used to be in, in the old lore, I know the Mon Cal ships were like Mon Cal cities that just rose up out of the ground. Well, they were so torches. I'm going to say this is like new Mon Cal is what this city was called. They were cruise liners. That were then they? converted. Yep. Huh. Is that canon or is that legends? That is legends. Got it. The Crackalackin. The, the Crackalackin. Let's get it. <laughs> Everyone on board, the Crackalackin. <laughs> Can we get that trending? Someone just start tweeting a hashtag the crack a lacking. Alright, question, question three. What does Benicio del Toro's character name DJ stand for? Oh, the what? Uh, no, no, he's like someone hired me to name ships, please. What if <laughs> what if some like cruise company called you and was like Maui? We heard that you're a prolific ship namer. Boy, have I got a job for you. Oh, no. Disco jockey, says Psych. Dedicated jockey. Disappointing, Disappointing joker. Disappointing joker. Sorry, what was the question again? What does Benicio Del Toro's character name DJ stand for? I think it stands for Del Joro. Someone made a typo. It's supposed to be DT. Hmm. Okay. Um, in Jaren, Jaren is spelled with a D, and you all know it. <laughs> uh, it was him all along. DJ Man, what Tanner. Twist. What a twist! If it was uh, Din Jaren all along. Oh, oh my god. That is uh, that like is that so that something that like Disney Star Wars would do. It's something Lucasfilm Star Wars. What are you talking about? That's George Lucas crap. <laughs> The guy who made Anakin build C-3PO? Like, come right. on, that's classic Lucas. 400 points. What planet is Vice Admiral Holdo from? Oh, God. Favorite movie? Tell me you haven't yeah, done a deep go, dive on your characters? Back. They go they go into the uh, backstory of Holdo in that film, for sure. Yeah. Um, actually, I think this was discussed in Bloodlines. The Leia book by Claudia Gray. Good book. Good book. It's a great book. I love that book. Um, don't know about this one, though. Maui says Buffalo. Buffalo definitely a Star Wars planet. Um, Take a guess. Educate a guess, but guess nonetheless. Catherine says Iago. Home Othello? of the Angels. Wait, Iago, home of the angels? What? Yeah. Where are angels what from? Is that? What is that from? It's from The Phantom Menace. Someone needs to watch Star Wars. Iago. Why was it the name of the villain from Othello? It's also what? the name of a bird from fucking Aladdin. That's like the name of the villain from Othello. That's where that's from. Don't give me the bird thing. Yeah. 
Lou, we need an answer. Oh, yeah, you put an answer. Oh, man. <laughs> Question five, 500. Nick. What two main characters meet for the first time at the end of The Last Jedi? Done. Um. Done. All right, we'll get to the doubler question in a second. But first, we're going to run down these answers. You're allowed to put the right answers now in chat. Which last Jedi actor played script doctor on The Last Jedi? Andrew, you said. I said Laura Dern, and if it's Billy Lord, I'm going to be real mad at myself. And Lou, you said Kate O'Connex, but so that's Billy Lord. Billy Lord. Billy Lord. <laughs> it's, uh, fuck, guys. It's Carrie Fisher. Did she really? Yeah, oh. she that she did that for a long time. She was like a pretty you prolific know, script that, doctor. Now that you say that, yeah, it does. I do remember that. Wow. Yeah, yeah. That, Ma Maui that. was yeah, Carrie yeah, Fisher was does. literally a screenwriter. Yeah, like listen in the moment, Maui. I was just too stressed. All right, what is the name of General Lucano's Mon Calamari cruiser in the Last Jedi? Lou, you said Akbar Station. So close. I mean, it's you're, the Radis. Yeah, Andrew's right. It is the Radis. But Akbar Station, so ironically, not that far off. <laughs> Named after the uh, the Monkel General from Rogue One, Admiral Radis. Question three. What does Benicio Del Toro's character name DJ stand for? Is anyone in chat? No. Because these guys didn't. They put Div Jaren and Disc Jockey. <laughs> Catherine's got it. Don't join. Oh man, really? Yeah, that's what he tells Finn. Huh. Fascinating. That feels like an IMDB trigger that isn't real, but I'll take it. Pretty, pretty confirmed. <laughs> Question four. Uh, what? You, you know, like a real name, right? <laughs> yeah, this jockey's a real name. Well, yeah, sure. What planet is Vice Admiral Holdo from? Andrew, you went with Hosnian Prime. That is incorrect, but a good guess. And Lou, uh, you so went with Naboo. <laughs> that's also incorrect, but I feel like that's like if you're gonna pull a planet out, a pretty good name. Zim Teak says Raxus Prime. Prime. That is not it. I almost said Raxus Prime, Max. Does anyone know? Catherine says know. Ord Mantel. Where? That is not correct. Where are purple haired people from? Aurelia? No. Is she from the planet that the uh, the other senator from Bloodlines is from? Because that's what I was thinking at a time, for a time. But I can't remember he, the name of that planet. He's I from Gatalenta. <laughs> okay. Gatalenta. Where's she from? She's from Gatalenta. Hmm. Never planet heard of it. Gatalenta. It's, I mean, it's one of those, like, fringe Star Wars planets. Like, it's been mentioned a bunch, but it's not, like, ever. Yeah. What yeah. two main characters meet for the first time at the end of The Last Jedi? You both said Ray and Poe, and you are both correct, and that blows my fucking mind. Yes. There's a really awkward, like, hello, when they meet each other. It's yeah. very awkward. Crazy. So, Lou, you're going to add 500. That's going to bring yes. you up to 600. Andrew, you're going to add 700, which I believe makes you at 1250 going into the doubler what's the high score in this game so far i'm going for the high score um, that you're asking me to remember things that happened months ago and i can barely remember yesterday all right this one oh, so as sad. far as as far as questions for doublers go this one's one of the easier ones what city oh. is canto bite modeled after what Earth uh, City? Pretty obvious. Canto Bite modeled. Unless I'm wrong, in which case I'm an idiot. I mean, you did say it's pretty that. obvious, so you better be. I know. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Unless I'm wrong, in which case I'm an idiot. All right, both of your answers are in. Lou, you went with Las Vegas. And Pim, you went with Monaco. And the correct answer is Monaco. Ooh. Where the heck is Monaco? I don't know. Uh, Italy. Isn't oh. it? Yeah, it's like a, it's like a, it's like a, it's a nation, isn't it? It might be it's a like nation. a, it's like its own little like gambling hamlet. Yeah, it's like a nation. It's a nation state like the Vatican is or uh, 
to Luxembourg. <laughs> Luxembourg's a bit bigger. But... So you're saying to be in this quiz, I need to graduate high school. Oh, okay. I'm just kidding. <laughs> you okay, Lou? Anything uh, you want to talk about? No. I graduated <laughs> your plan? high school. Mrs. Lou, is there anything you want to get off your chest right now? She's the brains of the operation, which, to be fair, my wife is the brains of the operation as well, but... She pays attention to movies and books a lot more than I do. I get it. You're all fucking married. Rub it in, dick. <laughs> all right. The Rise of Skywalker. Everyone's favorite sequel movie. I'm ready to get zero <clears throat> points. We're starting off easy. 100 nickels. Who was the original director of episode 9 before they left? I didn't spell the name right, but I got it right. I can tell you that. As long as I can tell who it is, it's fine. Yeah. All right, both your answers are in. Question the two. Has halted on Galaxy's Edge. Question two. What Star Wars actor is the only actor to appear in all nine Skywalker films? Skywalker Saga films. What yeah, actor? You're making this really easy. You're making this really easy for me, Greg, and I appreciate it. Uh, I, I told you this one wasn't as tough as the other ones because I don't like these ones as much. <laughs> I appreciate this uh, movie being easy because, again, I've seen it, I think, all of once. Well, it gets, it gets a little bit harder starting this next one. Fair enough. Oh wait, um, let me. It's actually yeah. the boom my guy, it's like the the boom my guy from the seventies, wearing the you know really short shorts. <laughs> Ice cream maker guy. There. Uh, do you know? Yeah. Uh, three. Question three. What is the name of the moon of Endor that the Death Star wreckage falls on? What is the name of that moon? Uh, that's hilarious, Simatik, and you don't even that's know really why. Funny. That's really funny, Simatik. Um, you could have told me that they just landed on Endor and it was like the other side of it that had more water and I would have believed you. Yeah, but maybe take a hint <laughs> since he's giving wrong answers right now, Pim. I mean, um. I, I have no answer for this one. Uh, I think I typed those before Max typed it though. So, no, you did. You were in way before that. I'm not. I'm not changing it after I see his answer. <laughs> it's not gonna change anything. <laughs> Let's still get it wrong anyway. So, we'll stick with the funny joke. <laughs> Splendor. <laughs> okay, okay, <Luke. laughs> Question four: True or false? The rise of the the Rise of the Skywalker. The Rise of Skywalker has the longest runtime of any Star Wars movie. True or false? The Rise uh, of Skywalker has the longest runtime. They had to squeeze a lot in there. But, so they but they made it go by really quickly. Uh <laughs> that was my problem with it. It just kinda like Everything just happened so fast, and it was like, just don't think about what. What, just what is this pacing? Yeah, don't don't <laughs> think about what just happened, and we're fine. If you just keep going forward and just accepting the movie, you're good. Don't you're think just... about it for more than three seconds. Question five: How often does the Aki Aki Festival of the Ancestors take place? Andrew's typing confidently. No. <laughs> Never mind. I'm taking a shot in the dark, baby. Saw the answer and realized it wasn't confidence. He just types real loud. I just have a loud keyboard. That's the answer. <laughs> Once, Once in a, in a blue, blue shot, T. <laughs> I love shot Lucasfilm doesn't. They killed her like four times. Yeah. Well, what can you do? <laughs> All right. Both your answers are in. Chat, you can get... The right answers now. Who was the original director of episode Wait, no, nine? No, 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 no. Oh, actually, there's a bonus one. Never mind. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, there's a there's a bonus that we'll do after the thing. Yeah. yeah. 
Catherine says Trevorrow, Lou, and Yellow Jacket both said Colin Trevorrow. The director of Jurassic World. Isn't it Colin Trevorrow? Like tomorrow? (laughs) I don't care about him. I think that. He was on the high echelon, which is cool. Bonus question What was the movie going to be called if he directed it? Duel of Fates, baby. Yep. Duel of Fates. If that's the bonus question, that's going to be really funny. (laughs) All right. Question two, what Star Wars actor appeared in all nine main saga films? Chat, do you know both of our competitors got it right? I mean, it's not actor, but I I accepted it for Lou, so I'll accept it for you. It is Anthony Daniels who played C-3PO. I've actually heard Luke, or Luke, I've heard Mark Hamill is actually in eight of them. Uh, yes. There's only one he's not in, but he has a cameo like in all of them, if he's not a main character. That's kind of neat. He also plays the fat little, like, alien that tries to put coins in BB-8 in The Last Jedi. He's the mocap for that, which I find really adorable. In the first draft of this quiz, that was actually a question. Nice. What's the guy, (laughs) do you know, did you look up his name? Uh, that's why I didn't put it in, because I was like, (laughs) I don't want to do more research than I have to. I have no that idea was, what his name is, but he's That cute. was Mark Hamill? Yeah. I, I would have guessed Warwick Davis. <laughs> yeah. Question three. What is the name of the moon of Endor the Death Star wreckage falls on? Lou, you said... The moon of Endor with the Death Star on it somehow. A long title for a moon. And... <laughs> Pim, we already spoiled this. You said Endor 4. Endor 4, baby. That is both wrong. Does anyone in chat know the name of this moon? The one where you have to pick up a dagger and go to a specific part of the moon and hold up the dagger to know where something is? Who made that dagger? (laughs) (laughs) Who made that dagger? Come on. The correct answer is Kef Burr. K-E-F-B-I-R. It's the word Da Vinci coding, but like, why would you make a dagger like that? And yeah, I had to walk up to the exact right part where it would work. Yeah. Listen, every movie needs a little bit of national treasure in it. You know what? I won't deny that. Jamie Sinclair, a little late guest, says Nar Shada. No, but I love the reference. That's what I want to see in a Star Wars movie. I want to see like some Nar Shada, not Huda action. No, now Hutter, now Hutter would be cool. It's basically just Saturn, though. All right, man. I'm harsh my vibe. <laughs> Question four. True or false, The Rise of Skywalker is the longest Star Wars movie. Lou, you went with. True. And Andrew, you went with. I said false because I think it's Attack of the Clones. Well, here's the thing. It was the longest Star Wars movie, but then oh. JJ made cuts, and it runs ten minutes shorter than the Last Jedi. So the Last Jedi is the longest Star Wars movie, really. Yep, they made us sit through it for the longest time of any wow. Star Wars movie. It feels like Attack of the Clones is the longest one to me. That middle section just tracks. Yeah. So, all right, listen, lady. The Siri on my watch is going crazy. <laughs> All right. She's helping you with the question. So, Andrew. I agree, Catherine. This is why I like you. You're going to add 700 to your total. You're doing very well. I'm feeling pretty Thank good. you. <laughs> <laughs> and Lou, you're going to add 300 to your total. We didn't but honestly. There's one more question. There's one more question. There's two more questions in this round. No, no, no. We didn't, we didn't do the, the fifth one in that set. Oh, yeah, shit. Well, you both got it wrong. (laughs) How often does the Aki... How often does the Aki Aki Festival of the Ancestors take place? Lou said every 30 years. Andrew said 100 cycles. Does anyone in chat know? I agree, Maui. I agree with that analysis of Attack of the Clones. Maui says 40 or 400, 63, 300, 400, twice a week. <laughs> twice, a week. <laughs> <laughs> twice a week. It is every 42 years. Oh, oh my god, you're kidding me. It was the answer for something. <laughs> oh my gosh. 
hilarious. Lou, you almost had it. Yeah. Here is your doubler for this round. What is the last word that Kylo Ben slash Ben Solo says in the movie? What is uh, the last word that Kylo Ren slash Ben Solo says in the movie? No tongue. <laughs> what is Maui doing debate club? Because he sounds like he'd be perfect for it. Yeah, I think Maui should get in on this. You taste like strawberry. Oh no. <laughs> Just burnt strawberry, force lightning strawberry. <laughs> I'm Ben Skywalker. <laughs> I should know this, but I don't. All right, boy. That's the answer. Blah. Andrew, what did you go with? I'm gonna go with Ray. It said a lot in that movie. I'm just gonna go out on a limb. Well, you both answered Ray. You're both and wrong. I'm, hey, Ray, smoochy, smoochy. <laughs> okay. That was my answer. And I'm half right. Nope. <laughs> You're all wrong. <remote. laughs> the last word he audibly speaks is "ow." Oh. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. Because when he's running into the the station on Exegol, he, he makes the jump up, onto the chain. He makes the jump and says "ow." That's the Ow. last word he says in the movie. That is the legacy. <laughs> the oh, of what a waste of Adam Driver. What a waste. Uh, ow. <laughs> All right, we've wow. built in a bonus question here. You're going to get 100 nickels for okay. every correct answer. There are 11 correct answers. You are only allowed to write up to 11 names. Name all of the Jedi voices right here in the Be With Me scene in Rise of Skywalker. You can give me character names. Oh, I'm just giving you character I names. I'm not, so. writing, yeah. I'm not writing the actors' names. Make sure you have only 11. If you go 12, you don't get any. It's crazy. It's nine. Spelling will not count as long as I can oh, wait, I'm make out idiot. what they're going for. That one for sure is going to be there. Um... Crap. That scene had such potential. It's a cool scene on its own, to be honest with you. Not the worst, but it had such potential. Yeah. Uh, I have no idea who the last one is, so I'm gonna guess this. Yogi the Jedi. <laughs> oh, hey, uh, boo -boo. I got 11. Uh, the Force is with you. I got 11 as well. The last one I'm positive was not in that scene, but I, <laughs> I couldn't think of more Jedi. All right. So here it is. We've got Obi-Wan, Anakin, Luminara, Ayla, Mace, Yoda, Qui-Gon, Ahsoka, Adi Galia, Hayden, and Luke. Yes. Let me count. I got eight. I got eight. Holy fuck, Lou. He got all of them? Lou got all 11. Damn. This is one of the things I studied. <laughs> I love that moment of the, you on the test and then like the thing you study the teacher put on the test and you're like oh I'm gonna crush this I'm still behind I'm sure <laughs> <laughs> a little bit alright so Lou that's gonna add 1100 to you <laughs> can that be from the double I feel like you should give him double getting all 11 I don't think I don't you want that to be the double 11, 1100 was more than double your score <laughs> you get 200 was nickels left. No, 1100 was not already more, more points than I thought I'd get. He was at, he was at, he was at nine, yeah. So if that, if we just doubled his thing, he'd be I at 1800. 
And, that's right, and then, yeah, I mean, well, you're you're doubling him right now. Yeah, I think right. I'm fine. I won this crit. <laughs> oh, there's, there's a whole fucking <laughs> category left. There's, oh, there's, there's one more. Questions. Yeah. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> I thought we were done. <laughs> Holy fuck, Pip. <laughs> Like, yeah, you have a lead, but god damn. I thought we were over. Stop the count. Stop the tally. I won. Stop the vote. Oh, my goodness. Oh, yes. He went 11 and uh, for 11. That is very impressive. <laughs> All right. Question, er, round four. It's hodgepodge. Okay. So this can be about pretty much it. This is getting out of hand. Now there are two of them. This is where the fun begins. Question one. Oh wait, first, Chris. Chris, you're here. Chris, new limp biscuit drop. Get Miles on it. <laughs> iTunes. It's called Dad Vibes. Is it so, really? Yes, it is. It's actually. Oh, called. that's incredible. Oh, perfect. Question one. Who's responsible for almost all of the conceptual design artwork of the original Star Wars trilogy that has impacted every movie? Um, what if I can't remember the first name, but I can remember the last name? As long as I know who you're going for. Okay. The problem is there's another person with that last name, and I can't remember what the first name of the artist is. Not in my opinion, right? Uh... They're actually in film as well. They're a, I think they're a director. I think. I have no clue. Um... Yoko Ono. <laughs> Yoko Ono, no. That's correct, Maui. It was Yoko Although, Ono. That would be one of the more George Lucas things to happen in my life. Yoko Ono was like the secret. All right, question two. This one, this one's such a gimme. What are the bat-like creatures in the space slug in Empire Strikes Back called? Empire Strikes Back, technically a sequel. <laughs> that means it's viable for this uh, format. <laughs> the space bats and something else? No, the, no, the space, space bats, bats in the one. In the, the space slug. Oh. I think the slug's name was Meg. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this one is worth 300 yeah, total, but you get it, 100 Meg. for each correct answer. There are three correct answers here. Written by Timothy Zahn. What are the names of the three books of the original Thrawn trilogy? <laughs> I know one of them. Yeah, you sure do. <laughs> I, I had to like, I just stifle myself from laughing about that. Oh, crap. I think these are all on my bookshelf. If I went to my guest bedroom, I think I could find them all there. Um. Oh, crap. I bet Catherine's got this one locked down. Corrin's have... day off. We can do Corrin. Corrin's <laughs> <laughs> I think That's that Michael might be Stackpole. the X-Wing novels, yeah. That's Michael Stackpole's <laughs> series of novels. He, he, listen. Is Cornhorn a self-insert for Michael Stackpole? Maybe. Do I still really like those books? Yes. Catherine, the question is, what are the names of the three books of the original Thrawn series? 100 nickels for each correct answer. Lou is in. Andrew, are you just going with that one? I got one. I'm not going to get the other two. I'm just going to leave it at one. Question four. That's fucking tough, eh? Well, this is also a gimme. Who plays Cato Connix in the sequel trilogy? <laughs> Forgot that was a question. Since, since we both know this, this is a story about when uh, they asked Carrie and Mark to reprise their roles. They were in the same meeting, and Carrie instantly said, yeah, I'll do it, and there's their role for Billy. Um, and after the meeting, apparently Mark said, uh, what are you doing? We have to negotiate. Like, what are you doing? She's like, there's no roles for, like, a middle-aged woman in Hollywood. Are you kidding me? I'm taking yeah. this paycheck. 
Uh, yeah, scary. Mark said he tried to play cool. He's like, I'll think about it. You know. Yeah. And Carrie's just like, no, I like it. I, I oh, yeah, fuck it. Yeah. Fuck it. Yeah. Fuck it. I'm doing it. <laughs> and uh, I love Billy? re watching uh, Rise of Skywalker where he just catches the lightsaber. I just imagine him saying, what the hell are you doing, Ray? <laughs> yeah. Fucking shit, Ray. You know what this lightsaber's been through. It's like, did you learn nothing from what I told you in the last movie? How many times does this lightsaber need to get thrown around on this goddamn island? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, question five. Name Chewbacca's son. Oh, God. <laughs> um, Is it even canon anymore? Doesn't matter. We all know who we're talking about. <laughs> His wife's canon. And you know what? Here's, here's, the, here's the thing. Stupid face. You can you can type the the nickname for the full five hundred, but if you get the actual name, I'll make it a thousand. I can see a stupid face right now, but I don't know its name. Uh, oh fuck! Uh, it's rat. Like right, answer a text. I apologize. Wolf, Wolf Waro says Trocker Trocker. I wish. I actually did watch the freaking special, like some of it. Um, I, I've never, I've never dared. Uh, I've heard too many bad things. Um, <laughs> Tin Jarin. Loric, just naming all the Azatuks. Uh, Kashyyyk Defender. Yeah, I was gonna say Kashyyyk Defender was his name. I think it's Lor Santeca. Alright, question five, or... Wait, no, that was question five. Alright, let's go through it. Uh, number one! Who was responsible for almost all the conceptual design artwork of the original Star Wars trilogy? Andrew? I remembered his first name, it's Ralph McQuarrie. That is correct. Chris McQuarrie is the director of the new Mission Impossible movie, which is why I was confused of his name. <laughs> you say so. Lou, you said Wade Pish? Wade Pache. Who the fuck is that? <laughs> All right. He does a lot of X-Wing art. <laughs> Question two. What are the bat-like creatures be, in the space I thought it'd be funny. <laughs> <laughs> uh, joke went over our heads. It's too hard for us. <laughs> You both got it right. This is a clearly Minox. This was probably the easiest question we asked. I uh, yeah, I mean, that. I... Yeah. Very appreciated. All right. The original uh, Thrawn trilogy names. You both got Heir to the Empire. Lou, you took two more guesses. You want to say them out loud? Shadows of the Empire and Last Jedi had a nod to this one. Dry Cleaners of the Empire. <laughs> Remember when they zoomed in on the iron? Remember? True. Sure. sure. Was... See how funny I am? Well, Catherine got it right. It's Heirs of the Empire, Dark Force Rising, and The Last Command. I knew it was the last something, but I had no... Like, I couldn't remember the third word, so I was like, I don't even... I just forget it. <laughs> Who plays Kate O'Connix? We all... We spoiled that one earlier. That is Billy Lord. And... <clears throat> Question five, name one of Chewbacca's sons. Andrew, you went with... Fluffy. And Lou, you went with... I, w I, I knew it was um, uh, umpy. It, I put rumpy or or, or lumpy. Well, it is lumpy. Yeah, it, is it is lumpy. lumpy. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Let me add Amazing. this up. It's 900,000... 1,200 for Lou there. Put you at 3,200. Andrew, you score a very respectable 800. I'll take 800 out of that one. It is a 1,600 nickel difference. Going into the final question. This is the bid question. Bids don't exist anymore, Greg. What are you doing? Delay fuses. That's the answer. I do in my heart. Finish the fail safe. So this is not a double, so in your uh, thing under the 500, write how much you want to bid, and I will say the category is sounds. Where do you want me to write this? How many, like, 
How much you want to bid? So no, you got... where do you want? Do you want? Do you want like in the points column? Yeah, yeah, no, in the points column, like right under five hundred. All right, let's do that. Um, so how much do I need to beat him? You need sixteen hundred to tie. How many points do I have to you, bid? You're you okay? Thirty-two hundred. You you have thirty-two hundred. You're down by sixteen hundred. So I'm gonna have to bid like seventeen hundred, right? You, theoretically, yes. Yeah, theoretically, you have to bid seventeen hundred. Hold on, I gotta do math. Actually, I don't have to do math. I'm gonna bid seventeen hundred then. Hold on, forget you what I said. Tell him that, because then he can just adjust his bid accordingly. No, I'm adjusting his bids. If he bets thirty-two hundred, he's gonna be at sixty-four. So That's I right. just need to bet enough to be above sixty-four. Right, which ironically also comes out to seventeen hundred. That it does. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh wait. Blue. Seventeen hundred and ninety-nine cents. <laughs> quarter of a nickel. All right, ninety-nine sure. cents. Hundreds of a nickel. Okay. <clears throat> Now I'm gonna say group here, and I want you to take group as like race, group of people, species, because we don't really know. What group's vocal sounds are modeled after mules? What group's vocal sounds are modeled after mules? Do 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 do. Do, 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 like do, do, what species? Chris says Alabamians. That's terrible. All right, <laughs> both <laughs> your answers are in. Lou, what group's vocal sounds are modeled after mules? You said Tuscan Raiders. And Andrew, you said I said Tuscan Raiders. <laughs> So, you both are correct. Nice. Good job. Thank How much you. did you bet, Lou? 1,799 cents. So that brings you to 6,500. And then Lou, what is it? You have 1,700, so that's 4,901. You round up. Yeah, it's Canada. There's no, there's no pennies. So there it is. Congratulations to Yellow Jacket Pim. He gets 99% off at exclamation point Pim. I'm going to order Pim this, miniatures on Etsy. going to order this uh, swordfish from Cowboy Bebop. And by that, I'm going to take time to paint this swordfish from Cowboy Bebop. Good job, buddy. Thank you, hey, Lou. Hard I'll say this match. is was... definitely our highest scoring round. We've I had. was worried at the I was worried at the end there. <laughs> like I was really doing like I was really doing math there and being like, oh crap, how do I guarantee the win? <laughs> and I, when you said Tuscan Raiders, I felt great because I'm like, even if I'm wrong, we're both wrong. Yeah, you're both wrong, both right. Didn't matter. Yeah. But it's good. Yeah, I can't yeah. believe I mean highlight for me is Lou going eleven out of eleven on the Jedi. That's that a hard really question. Impressive. That's really impressive. With like Adi Gallia in there and like Luminara. Like yeah, I, Luminara I, makes more sense. Adigala, like, who? Wow. Look at that. Look at those. I, I have no notes. <laughs> I have yeah. bills on my desk instead of notes. I have one set of notes on my Samsung notes, and then I have, like, two post-it notes, and then I have another set of post-it notes here. I actually didn't know we were allowed to bring notes, so I... Uh, well, I didn't either. <laughs> that surprised <laughs> me. I wouldn't know anything without them. <laughs> That's fair. Oh man, good game. That was close. Can well, we what do we? The fifteen hundred coupon now. Yeah, the, well, it's not the fifteen hundred. It's negative one hundred and fifty percent. Come on. Yeah. Stop being no, fucking stingy. <laughs> I I actually threw my back up this weekend. I really messed my back up painting a lot, so I can't paint at the moment. As long as the as long as the VCX got done, it's fine. Because I didn't have Google open. <laughs> oh, VCX is in the mail, Greg. It's in the mail. I literally wrote down things that might be answers and put them in, and maybe three of the answers were on here. <laughs> I had Laura Santica on here. 
I had the names of all of the Knights of Ren on here, which I thought might be a question. Um, oh, yeah. If, we, if that was a question, I was screwed. I have no idea. Uh, and then when he typed, um, talked about the festival, I just wrote down the name of the festival. was the Festival of Ancestors. I didn't know anything about stuff about that. But I had everything written down for the the Jedi that Ray hears. I'm pretty sure the festival was just Lando at um, Burning, uh, Burning Man. Isn't that the festival? Ball. <laughs> yeah. It was basically just like Lando Carnival. Carnival. Yeah, there you go. I also had like the different celebrities that were stormtroopers, dressed as stormtroopers. I, thought, I was I was thinking about doing a cameo one because there were so many people who made cameos in these movies, yeah. but I just felt like it was a little easy. I feel like everyone uh, knows like Daniel Craig and John Williams. What's his face is in um uh, uh, the guy from Looper, the the younger guy. He was also Robin in The Dark Knight Rises. What's his name? Joseph, Joseph Gordon Levitt. He's in The Last Jedi, and I don't think people have found him yet. But Ryan oh, Johnson has said he's in there. I wrote down Daniel Craig, Prince William, and Harry, Tom Hardy, Stephen Colbert, and Ed Sheeran. Yeah. And oh. I thought one of your questions might be the couple that kissed at the end of Rise of Skywalker, which was Larry and Dice and Larmer D. R. C. Yeah, Roby. Yeah. I was that was also in the original thing, but I couldn't verify uh the not DAC's person's name so i didn't want to do that and then have someone be like that is not i correct. have a i have a flip card from um uh one of the socal x-men groups that is why roby tice and uh Larmer de Arcee. and it's the scene of the it's a it's an artist drawing of them kissing each other which is pretty cool not allowed yeah. in china i had a bunch yeah, of stuff here i had how china. many portions on Plutt was going to give ray for certain things um I came across that question when I was looking up like trivia stuff. I was like, this seems pretty easy. I feel like everyone kinda you knows sticks I'm to the If you watch if you watch that clip, I'm always impressed by that effect because it's all practical. So it's probably just baking soda and a few other things, but it looks so yeah. cool. You mean I name all the ships? They're talking about that scene in Exegol. Name all the ships in the thing. Like I know yeah, they're the Firefly the is in there. Uh there's, the, there's a lot of, like, Star other Speeder, franchise shit. The Star Tour Star Speeder is in that scene. Of course it is. Second time I've been on camera in Nickel City, second time I've brought up Star Tours. Well, you know, gotta do it. So next week, <laughs> we need you. a debate club. Maui! You seem Maui's like you got some it. opinions. Maui, you got a he cam got and, jokes. and some ambi got ambitions. Some jokes. Maui? Maui, you got a cam and ambition? If he doesn't have a cam, he could just rig up a VTuber of Maui from Moana. <laughs> That'd be perfect. Damn it, Maui. Come on! <laughs> you guys have phones, don't you? All right, what are you, Blizzard now? <laughs> Just asking people if they have phones. Well, next week I'm going to try to get a debate club going. I don't know if it'll be Star Wars. It might. I want. I really want to get Make fast food food. back because we didn't get to really, complete really that one. Really introduce NCX to a new audience and make it a political debate. Catherine, you can use your phone. We showed you how. I would not subject the good people of Nickel City to my hideous visage. Please, man, they look at me all day. You're fine. Uh, <laughs> what do you think the next uh, trivia category should be? My, my two series, right? Well, my what two about thoughts the other were like Rogue One and Solo. So that was my thing. It was looking to be like Rogue One, Solo, like the other movies, or. I mean, I gotta get EU, you know? I mean, you could, you could do point. Rogue One, Solo, Mandalorian, as those are the three live-action spinoffs so far. Yeah, that's not bad. Rogue and then One, you can Solo, do, Mandalorian. you can do the animated series, because you can also do animated series of Clone Wars, Rebels, and Resistance Exists. Um, yeah, there's not as much trivia with those, because, like, you know, there's I mean, no set for, <laughs> like, Rebels. There's no, like, people don't come on set, like, there's no set. They got some actually some pretty good voice actor cameos on that show. You're a good voice actor cameo, Donna. I'm not a good voice actor, but I wish I was. Yeah. <laughs> Anybody can be a voice actor. Yeah, but not a good one. If you like their voice, I guess. I really just I'm working on my Donald Duck, so you gotta <laughs> got that going. <laughs> but I can't speak sentences yet. I would do that, but I don't want to spit all over my keyboard. <laughs> 
but yeah so we'll figure out the next one and i will need people so if this is something you'd be interested in doing please for the love of god hit me up the hardest part is booking i also need people to play tomorrow if anyone wants to play just uh, go on play. the discord the uh, dollar sign sign up and uh yeah maybe later this week well you know what days to find me Wednesdays uh, and Fridays. Days that end in Y. Wednesday and Friday, exactly. That's the day we stream X Wing on Nickel City. <laughs> Thanks X Wing. I appreciate it. Wednesday, Friday, <laughs> Saturday. We go right head to head with GSP. We try to take him down. You know what I mean? It's, he's weak. He's falling. Yeah, he's vulnerable. There's only like, there's only like 170 <laughs> people that lasted that. He's he's he can bleed. Well, it was like 400 <laughs> when I tuned in. So. I just mean I just meant participating. Oh yeah. Watching, yeah. I mean, watching's a whole other story. Listen, there's blood in the water. We're gunning for it. <laughs> We've already ran Scott out of town. That's how gaming is no more. It's true. All right, He'll guys. Be back on. He'll be back on Friday or Thursday. Friday? Yeah, we'll see. But then everybody will be on their Nintendo Switch playing Metroid, so it's fine. Oh my gosh, is that this week? That's on Friday, baby. Oh my goodness. Oh heck yeah. Alright guys. So Amazon delivers appreciate it on you. time. And uh we'll be back tomorrow, 6 30 p.m. Eastern. That's 2230 UTC. For more X-Wing action, 6 30 Eastern, 2230 UTC. Tomorrow, appreciate you guys joining me tonight. Have a great night. Uh don't forget that the GSP podcast is in about an hour. And, uh, yeah, we love you all. Join the Discord. Exclamation point Discord and chat. We've got a new bot. Thanks, I'm Greg. programming it, it myself. Thanks, Greg. It was fun. Let Thanks for scheduling around me. Well, it's I mean, this is when it happens. It wasn't really... <laughs> Can you hold well, off half an hour? Yeah, I guess. Or it don't matter. <laughs> I actually asked him to push it to 645, so... Yeah. No skin off my back. All right. See you guys. Have a great day.